So she said, what's the problem, baby? What's the problem? I don't know. Well, maybe I'm in love. I think about it every time I think about it. Can't stop thinking about it. How much longer will it take to cure this? Just to cure it, cause I can't ignore it. If this love, love makes me want to turn around. Uh, don't care, don't care, where are you? Uh, I need something to go. I need to get too far, far away because I need to see Fiona's parents and see my peak glory life come back here. I gotta go find it. Maybe those two people over there could help me. All right, hey, donkeys. Uh, excuse me, donkeys. Uh, uh, do you know where far, far away it is? Because I need to get there. Um, are you that guy from SML? Who? You know, the donkey, shirt cheesecake guy? Uh, listen, donkey. I don't know what an SML is, but uh, uh, if you, do you know where I can go to far, far away? Um, yeah, you just usually just have to take a freeway and then drive all the way there for an hour. Oh, I see. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, I'll see you. All right, see you. Who was up? Was up that guy? I don't know, but if you kind of don't know, it kind of looks like my rival from that one company that I had like 20 years ago. Yeah, didn't you have that a while back? Yeah, that was our not good times. Because that was really bad, and this guy was doing succeed. Which is why, this is why hand drawn never existed anymore. Because of him? Pretty much. I don't know. I don't know. If you're really sure about that, yeah, pretty much. <sighs> Whatever. I think Toy Story would have been the idea, but okay. I'm just, excuse me, I'm just gonna go start a review. Oh, uh, yeah, good, I uh, got that. Alright, thank you. I'll just go now. Yeah, see ya. Go. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'll just get it out of the way. Um, yeah, it's just, we're doing the same thing like The Room, where I'm reviewing an old movie. So, um, I literally did this because the movie is returning to the drive because re Shrek, it's Shrek. I mean, we're not getting Shrek fight till probably next year, so. I mean, did they announce that at CinemaCon right now? By the time this video is made, I'm pretty sure they did, so. I don't know. So, anyways, let's just get it all the way. Um, we, we don't need to hear my thoughts on the first and third and fourth one, because mostly why bother? We're just going to focus on the second one and the second one only, okay? So, anyways, we'll just start this over. This is my review uh, for Shrek 2. An oldie one, to be precise. Hmm. It seems a little bit hard for me to do this, but... I might as well say the story. Excuse me, donkey. Uh, did we just tell you where you're gonna go? Yes, donkey, but I just want to be honest. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just... I don't know what freeway. It's the one over there. Are you sure? Because there's, like, multiple ones out there. Yeah, I was talking about that one. Okay, you will so see you there. I, I'm okay. I'm not even gonna pay hair about. It. Okay, I'll just sit down on accident. Why do we always make these goddamn traditions long? Whatever. So we're just out of the run time. So, anyways, what about the story? Well, let's get over it quickly. Um, Bruce Charman, uh, just tried to save the princess because that's what he thought it would happen, but in reality, nope. No, Shrek did that or like the first movie, and then and then we see, like, yeah, oh yeah, dude, you're, then they're having an accident that was in love, and then afterwards, we're going to meet this, meet you and his parents and give them their blessings, which, yeah, that went well because they're, they're, they're ogres now. Why the hell do you explain that? Moving on, King Noir Likey, and then they sent Puss in Boots to do it, try to kill him, but never mind, we can't friends with him. Then in other words, they turn human. And then other words, Mr. Truman is like, oh yeah, I am the real Shrek, and yeah, I'm like, no, she doesn't love me anymore, and yada yada yada. And mostly all done with funny jokes, and mostly they turn to midnight, and then they throw that to the million. Yeah, the movie's 20 years old, I don't worry about goddamn spoilers, I'm pretty sure you've all seen it by now. So, anyway, so what am I thought the story? Do I even need to say it? 
it's god tier god fucking tier is this like on par with godfather is this like the godfather of part two of the go of the shrek movies and the third one being godfather three but that's not so yeah i was just gonna say yeah overall i'm just i don't just want to make this short okay because mostly what the hell you want me to say on an old ass movie and it is the goat and it's this one you know it's the great it, i mean story is and ends and mostly really good to be honest because mostly why are you guys 20? This is you even know. And it's funny the first one, but now the first one is just be silly. Yeah, that's meme worthy. But the second one is more meme worthy because memes and references. And there's a lot of references. But if I got a reference one, I got to reference one of them. And I got a reference because it, it kind of aged right now, a couple of hours ago, by the time this video was recorded. The white Bronco scene in like halfway through the movie, Um, you know, um. The, Donkey turned into a, a horse. So, yeah. So, the white Bronco scene. And you want to mention that? Um, Google the news. Maybe check out the white Bronco. Maybe you can see why Origin Simpsons just died like a few hours ago. Yeah, this video was severely aged well because it just because this joke kind of aged well because mostly the video is now back. And now you're going to see this joke all visually just the day after he died. So moving overall, I'm just gonna say the story here is just the god, just the go, just like honest to be that's how you didn't know. Well, if everything is gonna work out queer, then maybe everything could work out after all. Here's the animation. Oh, come on, what now? Well, sorry, Donkey. I'm just wanting to know that um uh, you, you sure it's that freeway over there. Oh my god. Yes, we're talking about that freeway. Okay, I just wanna be sure, okay? Alright, I'll see ya there. Yeah, whatever, I'll see ya. Yeah, I'll see ya. What's up with this damn thing coming back here for no fucking reason? Nikki, what happened to your voice, man? Whatever. Um, okay, we're gonna, this is gonna be interesting for an first time, because the room we just reviewed an old movie, and now this one we're reviewing an old animation. And the only question, why about to say, why about the animation now? I'll just answer this most important question. Does the animation still hold up after 20 years? And to be honest, yes. And why do I need to say it? Compared to Toy Story 1, the first one, where it kind of ages hardly, but you can tell why, because it's a charm, but this one kind of felt, still felt like this came out in 2020, like in the 2010s, to be honest. And it still holds up really well. This kind of, yeah, there's really nothing for me to say. I mean, what the hell you want me to say? Um, yeah, overall, the, yeah, the goddamn sound, I know, no, no, the animation is goddamn amazing, and that's all you need to know, and yes, it still holds up in 2024. I forgot what year we are, yeah, they're like, what's 2022, and it's like, why, if it should be the first one we said, yeah, whatever. So overall, I'm just gonna say it, um, uh, yeah, overall, the, the, yeah, that's all I gotta say, overall, the, the whole, God damn animation is still it still holds up and that's all I need to know. Why about the dragon sounding longer? Huh? Okay, I swear to god, if he comes back again, I swear to god, I'm just gonna try out just try to kill him. Anyways, here's the characters. Hmm. Wow. I'm just I'm just shocked. He didn't come back. Oh thank god. Oh thank god I'm so happy. Excuse me. Oh come on! <laughs> You know, that's why it's just why I'm just like questioning his sanity nowadays. So, <sighs> yep. Um, uh, what are my thoughts on the? Uh, what are my thoughts on the uh, characters? Let's go through all of them. I'm not saying every single one goes over to Earth. Let's start with Shrek. Hey, Shrek. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. That's all you do. Well, you know, you, what, are you expecting me not to say that in the review for a Shrek movie? We're gonna do that in Shrek Five again soon, and like. Year next year, or whatever that happens. Um, yeah, so overall, I'm just saying Shrek is just Shrek, Shrek is Shrek, and that's all you need to care. This is Donkey, Donkey is actually a horse, and I like him as a horse more compared to the Donkey Sam because waffles. That's all you need to know. And then we got uh, Fiona, Fiona's Fiona. I don't like uh, what the hell am I want to say. She's just yeah, I am worried about the person, but I knew Shrek would love me, but why am I human again? Like, oh my god. And then we have the other characters. Um, put the new ones. Let's start with Puss and Boots. Yeah, he was supposed to kill him, but he said, yeah, I'll stay it. Enjoy. Yeah, because fucking Puss and Boots. Give me the death stare eyes, and you'll well join Ratterards. 
Because that's the life, man. So anyways, um, then we also got, um, uh, other characters like the Fiona's parents, the king and the queen. The king, and he just wants to be sure, like, oh, yeah, this wasn't part of the land. I'm like, oh, shit, what have I done? I'm like, you know what? I'm actually okay with this indeed. And then the mom's like, why can't you understand her? I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck, man? She's just there. I'm like, I don't care for her, but mostly, I think she kind of did better in, like, fourth one, so. And afterwards, I mean, and we got another new characters, the villains. The fairy godmother and Prince Charlie. Prince Charming is kind of kind of had a down. Prince Charming kind of had a downgrade in the third one, but for this one, it was actually a bunch. He was actually really bad, a great villain, on par with Four Farquaad. But mostly, uh, no, I'm take that back. I think the Fairy Godmother is a much better villain here out of all four Shrek movies. I don't even know what the villain of the fifth one, but people saying, "Oh, Steamboat Willie." Yeah, that's uh, that's. I'm pretty sure they spent like 2018 to 2024 to get to drag this out. Otherwise, it was why there wasn't a fifth one to get fucking Steamboat Willie. If a goddamn number got pinned by that goddamn Steamboat Willie, then you can tell otherwise. You can Google that up if you don't get it. But anyways, um, uh, overall, yeah, overall, I guess Fairy Godmother is literally the best one in the series. I'm part with Lord Fargod. I like Lord Fargod, but the Fairy Godmother is the better one to be honest because. The song, hey, hero, I ordered up for a hero, let's go play Mario, and then we'll just listen to Tetris and just play a song on Footloose. Yeah, um, yeah, if you want me to thoughts on the soundtrack, um, definitely love it, and then, uh, and Holy After the Hero is probably the most memorable, and everything else I just forget, and then the rest I don't give a crap about. So, I crap about the soundtrack, I just care about those two songs, and I don't know, the ones the more I prefer, because... Just dance. Moving on, uh, yeah, what are my thoughts on the characters overall? Compared to the first one, where they actually improved in the first in, from the first one, and then some great additions, and then also, um, funny, and they're also funny, especially the human self, Shrek. <laughs> yeah, for sure, they could do like, oh my god, it was that character turned into human? Oh my god, that's possibilities. Go to DeviantArt and then Twitter and then Instagram and YouTube. You'll find fan art of anything turned into humans. Google what I did. I did the same thing with Lara. Oh, yeah, but that's a different story. And we're going off topic. So overall, character-wise, there are, are improved, great additions, and also a really funny the bit the, the least. Listen, Donkey. I'm 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 not I just want to apologize. I can't apologize for just just keep preparing. We just told you where to go to far, far away. What? You just don't keep... I just... I'm just sorry. I just... You know, just left me. What? Yep. Yeah. What? The hell? Yeah, that's pretty much how I am. Oh. Shit, I'm, I'm like an asshole. So... Overall, I just... I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm just sorry. It's okay. I'll just... I just won't. I just. I'll just stay away from you. I'll just. You know, I'll just. I'll just go to far, far away because I need to have a chat with just her parents. Um, okay, then. Uh, good luck with that. Thank you. I'll. I'll, I'll move on. Okay. Wow. I'm like. I'm like an asshole. Like. Damn. Like. Wow. I'm really fuck. I'm really fucking messed up. Like. I should probably get help. Bro, Mickey, do you really have to drag this out for like a goddamn minute, man? We are not trying to drag this out like a 20-minute review. We just want this shit to be short for a goddamn 20-year-old movie. <sighs> no wonder we'll never do like... Which is why we only do new movies nowadays. Well, well anyways, let's just get it out of the way. Um, uh, what's, Is there really any bother ranking this with, with the other movies? Um, Number four is Shrek uh, the third. Number three is Forever After. Number two is the first one. And then this one is the ghost. <laughs> well, they're all. Overall, I'll just say it. Overall, Shrek 2 was literally the best of the entire series. I don't think Shrek 5 has ever got to top that. So, and mostly, I don't think it'll ever will. Because it's going to be hard. And mostly meme worthy. And uh, yeah, overall, because the story, yeah, it is great and the animation still holds up after 20 goddamn years and then the characters all are so goddamn good they improved and new and they're actually intriguing and overall i just think they're better and mostly the soundtrack's a bop only two songs i give a crap about i don't give a crap about the rest and i'm a little bit hey, hey, hate you a lot hate for this ogres so anyways what are my recommendations but the other reason why we're doing this is because Shrek 2 is coming back in theaters for like a week. So, and the only way I'm saying this, you might as well watch it.
right now. Um, by the time you're watching this, there's only like two showings by the one near May, but you can look it up yourself. When your if your theater has Shrek 2, go and watch it. And no, every single goddamn day, this needs money, man. Do the same thing with the goddamn with Game Explained Day by watching Mario movies like so many times with that guy that watched Doom 2 like 18 goddamn times. Uh, you know, do this with Shrek 2. Watch it 20 times in the goddamn theater. If you can, I mean, you gotta be prepared with money because just buy one for one ticket and then don't even buy food. Just, just, just take it, okay? Just take it. That's all you need to know. So here's my goddamn rating for this goddamn movie. I'm giving it a nine. I knew you was why it's in this a ten. That's a sinful for me to get that and not give this a ten. But I'm just being honest, nine. And also. Why? Why did I rate it higher? If Trek 5 does not be good, then maybe. But not, nah, whatever. So I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna shut it out, because we're dragging this out any longer, and I'm just gonna go now. So, <sighs> we're just gonna have a talk with Mickey for dragging this out for a minute. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, Mickey. You have a lot of explaining to do. About what? Those transitions. Why are they so goddamn long? Aren't we always supposed to be? They're supposed to be under 30 seconds! Oh, yeah. Well, because I've watched uh, Shrek each keep randomly appearing uh, out of nowhere and just decided I'd become like a total asshole because Fiona left him. Oh. Okay, then. Why? Why did you just know that? You know, I'm just realized how. how. I'm awful at this. Like. Maybe. We're just doing like 71 episodes and now. Really, I've been doing this for so long, like, why bother? You know, you have a good point, like... Are there any other movies left in April? I mean, there's Civil War, nobody cares about that. Oh, yeah, good point. So, uh... What about the Spider movies? I heard a review of No Way Home, like, what about the what about the rest? Um, trying to get one review every week would be hard. I mean, you want to be, like, the nostalgia critic? I mean, isn't that where we're ripping off the whole time? I'm not really sure we're ripping up anime, but oh god, good day. But still, though, like, I think we should really do something new with this channel. Yeah, I think we should probably do a review and something new for once. You're in Chris? No. Okay, so, um, you want to do it? You're sure? Yeah, well, I think we'll think about Spider Man. We should do that. Well, okay, then. You sure won't regret this? I'm pretty sure I won't. Okay, then. All right, I'm just hoping everything goes well. The plan, right? Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> yep, it sure is. <sighs> oh, hello there! <laughs>